In this video, I want to explore how to use AI to generate background patterns for web designs. Now, this is something I've always been doing. When I create a nice looking web design, I don't use a single color for a background or even a gradient or maybe a picture. I'm always on the lookout for good background patterns and good sites that provide them for free are far and in between. But with Mid Journey 5, there's a brand new feature called tiles. And tiles are essentially repeating sections of art that basically seamlessly fit together. This is essentially background patterns. So I wanna see how I can integrate tiles into a web design. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's start right now. Let's head over to Mid Journey and it's just midjourney.com if you haven't before. This website is actually quite great. While it's a starting place, they do have a get started section, which is essentially documentation. And if you wanna learn and really use Midjourney, this is the place to go. I'm going to search up tile here, and it's gonna give me the documentation for tiles. To implement tiles, you just need the dash dash tile parameter, and then you can describe anything you want. There are a few examples of this in use, such as tiger stripes here, being a prompt of colorful tiger stripes with the, the dash dash title prompt. For Midjourney 5, this is already integrated. So if you're not using Midjourney 5 already, just add in dash dash V space five with the dash dash tile parameter. And here are some examples, like this one here of the goldfish. Wow, I cannot see where this starts and where it begins. So I'm really excited to see where I can start creating and implementing this into my own website design. Let me do this right now. I'm gonna jump into Discord to access my journey. Now I actually have my own Discord community, the Codex community, which you can join in the link below. On there, I've integrated things like Midjourney as well as ChatGPT. And we have thousands of members and run free webinars and more training sessions on things just like this. What I'm gonna do is head over here to the Midjourney channel. On this channel, I want to create my own first Imagine prompt for a background pattern. But to do this, I'm gonna be using version five. To swap to version five, just add in forward slash settings. And over here, you should have an option for Midjourney version five. Alternatively, you can just pass in dash dash v5 and this will also use version 5, though you will need a paid account. Now on top of this, what I'm going to do is pass in this imagine prompt. Now I want something space themed, so I'm going to add in something like space with uh, space ships, asteroids, and maybe uh, hmm, rockets. And then I'm going to pass in dash dash tile. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's see what Midjourney 5 produces. And here are the results. I've got four different themes and all of these look pretty damn good. The only thing is that this very first one, I don't know if you can tell, but I might zoom in so I can showcase this. It looks like it's got a bit of um, shutter stock photography lines in the background there as if it was actually trained on Shutterstock, which is pretty funny. But the one on the bottom right looks more or less okay. What I might do actually is see if I can upscale the very first version here, U1, and I want to see if it still has that funny looking Shutterstock background, which it does. It has these lines in the background. So I don't think I can use this one, but with version four, maybe I can. So version four is the one here on the bottom right. Here, I've got one that looks much better. While the spaceships look a little bit wonky, I think this could do as a background pattern. The only real question I have is, will it work? So I'm gonna put this on a website on Editor X and see if it actually repeats with a seamless transition between one section and the other. So what I'm gonna do is head over and save this image. Now I'm gonna save this probably somewhere to my downloads folder, and then I'm going to jump into Chrome head over to this website I'm building on Editor X. This is my community page, which I'll link below. And I wanna create a new section here. And for this section, I want to create a black se blank section where I'm gonna add this as a background image. Now here, let me select background image, select upload. Here it is. I'm gonna select to change the background to this. Right now it's stretched. So instead of selecting scale to fit, I'm gonna select tiles. And there we go. Now here is the section and I have to admit to you that I cannot see where this section starts and where it begins. Uh, it does look like a seamless transition. What I could do now is add in maybe a dark background pattern so that if we, for example, add some opacity to it, it still looks really good. But now I could say add in some additional elements here and it could look good on a page. So this is more or less how you would do tiles. 
There are a few other things that I would probably suggest if you are creating tiles for a website. And the first is that the stylization on them shouldn't be so high because when you do have a lot of styling on a background pattern, sometimes it becomes overwhelming and the most active and most visible thing on a page. You really want minimalist background patterns that sort of blend the focus of what's happening into the background of that section. So that's what I want to try next. I want to jump into Midjourney and see if I can customize this background pattern to be more simplistic so it works better as a background pattern. This time, what I'll pass in as a prompt is Imagine. And for the prompt itself, I think I'll pass in more or less the same with spaceships, asteroids, and rockets that are far apart from each other, small and simplistic like vector art and minimalist. I think that's better. And then tile. I think that should do. Uh, now I'm excited to see if this will create a better version. Um, I probably should have also mentioned to remove color as well as maybe just pick two specific colors to use. But let's begin to see what comes out from these results. Okay, I think that is much better. I already have a few designs here that look simplistic, smaller and easier to implement. I especially like this one on the bottom left. It's not using too many colors, but this is what I mean by you need to refine the prompt until you get something that works. So what I might do is pass in another imagine prompt. And this time I'm going to pick stylize as another item I'm going to pass in and set that to 250. And then I'm also going to say uh, only dark gray and blue as the colors. So I want to add those two aspects to it. And here we go. These are, again, another layer better, especially that one on the top left, which is literally using just the two dark colors that I selected, the blue and the dark gray. So this would work really well as a background pattern, especially if I added, for example, some of that uh, opacity. So I actually want to try that out. I'm going to select a U1. And Mint Journeys 5 is very fast at creating these upscaled versions. I'm going to select to save that image. And I'm just going to save that in my downloads folder. Jump back to Chrome, uh, change the design. And here we go. Uh, I can now plug this guy in. And here it is. So that's a nice looking background pattern. I can reduce the opacity for that. And that I could even add a black background in the background and just have that as a little space theme that's happening. There are a few other things that could be done to make this even better, such as you could shrink it down. So I could select to do some adjustments here and on the crop and resize, I could, for example, resize this image to be something like one to eight pixels by one to eight pixels. Select to apply that. Uh, now, actually that's way too small. So what I'm gonna do is resize it maybe to half, say 512 by half 12. Uh, let's hit save on that. And what's going to happen is it's essentially going to shrink the repeating pattern that is applied. So this basically makes it seem, well, easier on the eyes, because if it's too large, you might not be able to see it properly. And that's basically background patterns in a nutshell for web design using Midjourney 5 and tiles. If you want to learn more, definitely join the Discord. I'll be doing a webinar where I'll be diving deep into creating custom background patterns for all sorts of stuff. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.